Lee there YouTube, Superbrain AK here, and well, sure it has been a long time, and you're probably wondering what the heck are all those parts doing on top of a box? Well, these are all the parts that were in my computer, and nope, nothing is broken, everything should be fine, but the reason why they're doing they're sitting on top of a box it's because that box belongs to this guy yep this is a Corsair 230T which is one awesome looking case I mean it just looks like server grade hardware so Yep, I'll be putting a link of all the uh, pictures of it. So, high quality stills. Um, yeah, so this is the black and orange windowed version. Let me get the side panel. So that, nope, can't see that. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Alright. So that's the normal panel. And then under it is the windowed panel. So that's going to show inside my case. And I will see about um, putting a bunch of LEDs in, my ca in the case because I have LEDs which are red and pretty awesome. I just had nowhere to put them in my old Redbone U3. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put everything in. I've already got a back IO panel in and, oh, I was going to talk about the mounting posts. So the one, it fits standard um, full size and mini uh, boards, but this is the um, aligning post, which is in right there on the board, which is like the middle of the stupid board which I don't know how hard it is to line up a motherboard on top of screws but I really wish they gave me a grounding point there but anyway so I've got the post here that's going to go in uh, I can't see uh, that second slot there because I have two slots next to the sound card so I'm going to use a five millimeter socket and put that in get that tapped right so I don't strip it out Going. All right, I'm going to set you down. So, and resume. <laughs> Magic of television, YouTube, recording. What? All right, let's get this tap, shall we? So, I guess I'm going to do a video of me. Uh, my computer together in this new awesome case for as long as I can until I hit 20 minutes or my mom calls saying she's home from groceries 
So yeah. <laughs> All right. So I've got that one in. And yep. So I haven't taken my heat sink off because, well, I don't necessarily need to. And there goes my mom's cell phone. That isn't her calling. Otherwise, she'd be calling my phone. Or not. I'll be back. Okay. Well, that was just. Um, because my mom obviously left her cell phone and we get a ride, so they were calling my mom to see if she was done. So, anyway, <laughs> resuming. So, yep. So, the cooler that I have here is the, um, shoot, 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 D92. 92 millimeter fans, two of them, one pushing, one pulling, and then it comes with the splitter, which I'm wrapping up to put on top of the four pin. Controlled. Yes, these are four pin fans, which are awesome. All right, that's plugged in. So now, before I get too many things inside, I'm going to put my power supply. And yeah, it's a Corsair CX600. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> Shoot, did not wipe off the top of it. Give me a second. All clean. <laughs> so yeah, uh, after being in my... Everything has been in my original computer for quite some time. It's been about a year. Right, why isn't this going in? There's something in the bottom here. Ah, I see. Do you see? It has a little metal piece here there that was pushing the power supply all the way down to the bottom so you just have to bend that up a little bit but keep it as tension as possible to get that nice and tight so your power supply doesn't move so it's tensioned on that bit on my screwdriver for Phillips, wherever that rolled. Crap. I think it's on the floor. No, it's not in the back of it. It's in... nope. It's over here. So... These look like outside case screws. Just getting out all the screws. You can't see nothing. There we go. So yeah. I do love my computer. This is an awesome computer. Though with the um, soon to be release of Need for Speed 2016 well, 2015 whatever 
the new Need for Speed that might make my um, R9 to 80 Black Edition by XFX um, sort of run a little slow I think hopefully that isn't that bad so I might be getting a new graphics card soon just to play Need for Speed I do have Need for Speed Most Wanted, um, the recent one, and that runs pretty well on my card, so we'll see. Alright, first thing to remember, alright, let's do it. Shots are terrible. I don't have a cameraman. Alright, so that goes that way. What I do like about this case is that it does have pretty decent cable management. So I can do things like I just did, and wrap the entire power cable that way. I'm not going to plug it in yet because I'm not sure exactly where the other ones are going to go. I know these are for the graphics card. I was thinking about, I don't know if you can see, you know where that piece of metal was? I can go over that, but that would be too much strain. Can I... Mm, no. I'll just come through this top right port. The right port on the motherboard. Uh, the right port as in right or correct. <laughs> Here's my dog. Oh! Okay. First off, while my... I don't know if anybody's yelled at me yet. <laughs> Might help if I screwed in my motherboard, huh? You know? Just, you know, start plugging in something and pull a little bit of a cord and oh, there goes the motherboard. I think I should do that. What was that phone call that got me all off my rocker? And I guess because I'm trying to hurry up a little bit. I can make me get things done. So thank you for telling me. You have told me in the future past. Oh, that's awesome. I'm not tightening them all the way as to get a good um, what you call it? Pre-fit. This case is a bit taller. Before I wasn't able to get my screwdriver in the top part. And 
Grr. Maybe if they talking about that um, the aligning post, which nobody should really need unless you're a complete imbecile. Um, they should make them all removable, threaded. That way you can put it wherever you feel you want. Instead of making it be in the perfect center. Or the manufacturer choosing where it is. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then minus one. Make sure it's good and secure. Tighten it down pretty tight. It doesn't go anywhere. So yeah, they should really make that one replaceable slash just threaded so you can move it to some other slot that you aren't really going to need necessarily. Because first off, well, if you have a mini or micro board, that would be the bottom right. Whatever. Uh. Excuse me. Alright, well now, now that I have all the screws in. So with the CX600, I've noticed that the 24 pin is really hard to get in. So I'll do that off camera. So don't let me forget. Plug that in, otherwise I'll be like, why doesn't the computer turn on? All I did was completely pull everything out and plug it back in. So that's locked, that's unlocked. So let's pull out one of the beautiful screwed in replaceable vented PCI slots. Thumb screws. That are held in by thumb screws. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm gonna need two because I have a two slot card. But yeah. Awesome. Replaceable. Awesome. Every single slot has a thumb screw. But I don't have time to mess with those. Still faster to use a screwdriver if you have one. If you don't, well, then the thumb screw is awesome. Awesome. Two out. And the sexy beast with a little dust on it. It's not bad, I blew it out already. But yeah, so pretty. Just look at the power components one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inductors. It's eight, or yeah, eight plus six pin input. Oh, yeah. And also, before I started doing a whole lot, I had weighed how heavy the... Oh, crap. If 
you noticed anything about my motherboard. First slot is the PCI 1X. And you guys are chuckling. Be quiet. <laughs> yes, I pulled out the first two slots. Should be the second and third slot. Much better. Probably because I thought the board was on the other side. But it's not. Alright, that, that, that looks. I was kind of noticing that the graphics card was a little closer to the CPU cooler than I remember. I remember there being some room. So, yeah, that's fixed. Now, bring that up. Bring that up. And put in these big, giant, pretty, really awesome thumb screws. Here, let me change the angle. That way you go. Oh, I just don't get too poor. Nice. <laughs> Unscrew. Bring up. Point down. Screw in. Flip the monitor. There we go. So yeah, I pulled out this one instead of these two. Fail. Second fail in this one video. Good job. Alright, so make sure that the graphics card is tilted up like this. And tight so that big fat 12 incher doesn't move. All right, so that's in, and now well, let's start thinking about putting the drives in. This GPU power. Change the camera angle. Boop. 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 There we go. Bring these under. There is also a difference in the airflow because originally all the airflow oh, now I can't see all the airflow in my case because it has these basically to here um, all the airflow went in through the hard drive cages and then I also had the big Prolumitech the really thin one blowing in so all of the air did go straight through the graphics card but that also made this 
be sucking air from the graphics card. I mean, it did get some from over here, but it wasn't that much because there was just one fan over here. <laughs> Whereas this has two. And yeah. And then top vents. So if I want, I can have one going. Oh, you can't see that, can I? So one maybe going down to go in and then covering this up and then having all the air come out this. But, eh, I'll probably just have the front two. Let's zoom out. Maybe you can see more. So, you know, the front two. Just blowing air through. Who knows? So I got the graphics card plugged in. They might be here. So, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.